All right, we're gonna get started with our movement prep. We're gonna go ahead, and interlock the hands behind the back. Let's go ahead and pull that posture open. And from here, we're just gonna gently rock ear to shoulder. We're not forcing any range of motion, letting the body go where it goes. We can sway the weight side to side. If you'd like to, you can drop the chin to the chest. Look up to the ceiling. Just trying to get some good movement in before we start here. Very good. Go ahead and release the arms, bring them back in front. Now give yourself a big hug. From here, we're gonna start rotating side to side. We're just gonna shift the weight. Whatever side you're rotating to, that backside foot will pivot, go up on the toe. And we're just gonna gently rock side to side, going as far as you can, not trying to force anything still. And as you feel more comfortable, as you start warming up a little bit more, you can go a little bit quicker, try to go a little further. And then now let's go ahead and release the arms, bring them out wide. We're just trying to expand the circle, get a little more movement. Just like you're doing, you can speed it up a little bit, feeling warm, feeling good. Very nice. We'll just go a couple times back and forth here. We'll come back to center. Now, let's chamber the hands. Let's go ahead and push the hands out in front. In this position, we're trying to create tension in the chest, trying to get the arms as far away from the body as possible. Now, pull the arms back behind you. Think about pinning the shoulder blades together, squeezing a pencil in between the shoulder blades. Now from here, rotate the palms to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Exhale, reach up to the ceiling, get long through the fingertips. Pull the arms back down, create tension in the back again. Rotate the hands forward. Press the hands away, create tension. We're just gonna flow through this a few times. Being very intentful at each position. Again, we're not trying to go fast. Keep the face and neck relaxed. You can flow through this five times, 10 times. If the overhead position is something you have a little bit of challenge with, spend a little bit more time on this. And again, ideally, we're getting the palms straight up to the ceiling at the top, getting long through the hands. But if you can't get there, that's okay. Go to whatever range of motion that you have. And Nancy, if you don't mind doing a few facings of the wall, please. Pushing the hands away, creating tension in the chest, pulling back. And our example here has great range of motion at the shoulder, so she can get right over her head straight up to the ceiling. Go one more time, all the way up, all the way back down. Very good. And we'll come back to the camera front facing, please. Now we're gonna sweep the hamstring, getting a good stretch in the back of the leg. We'll have you do is kickstand one foot out in front. The heel of that front foot's gonna be just about in line with the toes on the back foot. We're gonna start by taking a big breath in. On the exhale, you'll bend down to the floor, trying to get as close to the ground as you can. You'll come back up tall. You'll switch your feet. And we're just gonna pattern back and forth. Exhale as you sink to the floor. Inhale as you rise back. And we'll just find a comfortable pace going back and forth here. Again, 10 times, 20 times, do as many as feel good. Very good. And now I'll have you face to the wall again just so we can see a side view from this. That front leg is straight. A little bit of bend in that back knee is also fine. Let the body go where it goes. We'll go one more on each leg, and we'll come back to the camera. Very good. Now, from here we're moving on to our cross crawl. This is our single leg stability, our balance exercise, our coordination exercise. I want you to be very comfortable, very confident with each one of these steps. The higher you bring your leg up, the less stable you'll be. What we're going to do is bring the knee straight up. That opposite hand will come across the body. Tap the opposite knee. We're going slow and under control. Go ahead. Very good. Driving that knee up through the ceiling, creating tension in that top hip, but being rigid on the foot that's on the ground. Not letting that knee bend, not letting the hip get soft. Very good. And again, if you're having trouble with stability, if you don't mind, Nancy, doing a little shorter steps, really small steps, but be comfortable. This could be perfectly fine. If you need to be supported on a wall, on a table next to you, that's fine. And Nancy, again, if you could please face the wall just to give a side profile. Let's take 10 more steps, five on each leg. Very good. And ideally, if that foot can be silent on contact on the floor, that's ideal.
perfect. All right, coming back, our last exercise of the movement series, we're gonna go extending up on the toes. You're trying to get yourself as tall as possible. Creating tension in those calf muscles, you're challenging your stability a little bit. If you lose balance in this position, you fall back to your flat feet, that's okay. Just go ahead and reset. Make sure when you're in this position, you're not holding your breath. This can be very natural. We're just trying to create tension again in the back of the legs, wake the feet up a little bit. Now from here, as an additional challenge, let's take very tiny steps forward. We're going a centimeter at a time, barely trying to move under control. And then we'll go backwards. Now let's go right. And let's go left. And let's settle back in the middle and rest. And that is our movement prep.